I'll be a uh, glue gun out like, oh my god! Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY. Nope, it's not going to be a DIY. It's going to be an unboxing and review of this item that I have right here on the front. Uh, remember, if you're already here, please subscribe to my channel. And if you already have, thank you, thank you so, so very much. I promise I will continue with my pattern of DIYs, unboxings, and things like that. Um, remember to click down on the description box to see all the little details that I might put about this product as well as the links to my Instagram, Facebook page and my Baby Bapron online shop. Crewless and selfish promotion. <laughs> so let's get to opening and unviewing, <laughs> reviewing and unboxing this device that I have here. So uh, one day I was just browsing around uh, YouTube and I was looking for DIYs, random things. It literally just came out random. And I saw this lady doing a DIY with this hot glue gun, Ryobi hot glue gun. I was like, oh my god! A tool I thought Ryobi was only for men or like, not men, it's like for tools, for hardworking tools. <laughs> and I was stunned because. I use hot glue for almost the every hot craft glue that gun. I do. Is my priority. This is my hot glue gun. This is a vase that I did in ceramics class when I was in high school. Can you believe it? I like the color. So here's a regular old regular hot glue gun, but I hate that the cord is. Small. This one is actually a decent size, but I have to be relatively close to a plug in order to plug this damn thing. And look at this, it's already plugged. I think I bought this one at Harbor Fried. I'm not, I can't remember, but it, literally you can buy it anywhere. And this brand is like anywhere. So, um, that was my oldie one. And my husband, I, I told him, do you know that they have a Ryobi hot glue gun in, uh, I think he bought it for me at Home Depot. It could have been in Lowe's, but I can't remember. It was Home Depot, I believe. Um, and it, uh, it was $30. Does it have a Home Depot here? Ryobi one, no. Um, it was $30, 20 something with tax, it comes to $30. But think about it. It doesn't have a cord. You don't need a cord, you obviously, need a battery because it doesn't have a battery who now doesn't have an electrical tool that probably you have Ryobi most likely is is I think Ryobi is the most affordable tool like this kind of things that you could have and thankfully I do have a lithium <laughs> That's Leila. A lithium battery. It's an 18 volt that you need for this. And this tool, as you can see right here, it has over 70. My husband has all of these, I think. They might not be. But we have this battery for a packet that had a blower and a trimmer for the grass. So that's what I needed this and I could get it. You can obviously buy the battery and it's more affordable to buy the battery. I don't think affordable, it's just more convenient to have this kind instead of this kind. But if you want to use this kind, go ahead and do it. But if you, um, yeah, no, I don't know. If you want to buy this one, go ahead and buy it. I don't know. You, I'm most likely, most positive that I think that your husband, if you're a woman or if you're a man, you would have a battery already. So it comes in this plastic thing. So we're going to go ahead and open it try to use my strength that I don't have to open it. Done. Um, just looks like this. It's very lightweight. You and I are testing it together. It's very lightweight. It just has an on and an off button. Right here is for you to 
have the hot glue this is the bigger hot glue i don't think you can you're able to put a tiny one but you can try um i right now and head i don't have a tiny hot glue i have the bigger one and look at this it goes right in there wow. and ta-da look at that look at that this little uh thing here is for like for you to uh, help you if it gets stuck or anywho, but yeah, that's how it looks. It has this little button here For you to op like push it as well as what the other one would have this one's a little bit ha uh, Harder because I have hot glue already in there that it's been used, but um there is that. It's very lightweight. Um, I like this thing that it ha that it has silicone because my other one, or mostly the other ones, um, just have the metal thing, and they tend to like burn. And like the hot glue, it's hot, and this darn thing gets super hot, and I have burned myself many many times with the tip before. So I like that it has um the rubber thing here and it has such a precise little line here as well so you're not going to get a big lump of um hot glue in there so you, you you don't worry about that kind of situation um let me take out the paper here so we can read um while you're looking at it i can explain to you this has a 3.5 hours of runtime that you are constantly using it um the 3.5 hours of runtime is is of your battery not necessarily of the gun but like of your battery it has an L led on indicator light so that's um the on and off button that's led light works with all purpose and high strength adhesives so that means like hot glue guns right here it says that it includes three purpose hookah sticks included and um i didn't see them but we shall see oh look they're right here they're right at the bottom of the thing Ta -da! look at this hot glue they're a bit bigger than like larger than the ones I have, but I'm pretty sure in the stores you can find these longer ones instead of these tinier ones. I purposely got this ones because of my hot glue gun that I had. But um, look at they include three uh, large ones. There's the same size. Um, right now I cannot come up to my head of what size that is, but um, it, it uh, I'll tell you right now. It has an operator's manual. As well as other little things that you can read up on yourself. I'm not going to read that for y'all. It says battery and charger sold separately. So, uh, of course, you will need a, a battery and you will need the charger for the battery. But like I told you, if you already have the tools, um, then you probably already have the charger for the battery because, you know, it's included in the first packet. You can also buy it. Um, $30, I know it's an Ipri size, an Ipri price for a hot glue gun. But I, I, I can't stress enough how you can use it anywhere. You can use it in high parts, low parts, with anything without being, con like, hold back from a cord or having to put an extension cord to the hot glue gun. To have the purpose of the hot glue gun. Ah, and this is new. So I don't know how new this item is. The box that says new. But I'm not sure how new. So yeah. It says um, the 18 bolt hot glue gun has self-standing. As you can see. It's self-standing. When you put the battery, of course, it's still going to stand. Even better because the battery is, is kind of heavy. So you just go ahead and click the battery in there with the battery it has a little weight to it but not crazy like crazy weight that you can oh my god i have a sore hand because the hot glue gun is so heavy you know what i mean um the other thing says two finger trigger for enhanced control so that that means this like two finger trigger and then it has an led on and off indicator like i'll tell you right over here i will turn it on to show you in a bit um uh, we'll turn it on 
right here so you can see so we're gonna let it heat up a little bit you know and it has a 3.5 hours of runtime. I already told you that it includes three three glue sticks robust design for heavy duty gluing application it says they're heavy duty so of course you can use it like your husband can use it to hot glue some kind of a wood piece some some kind of a thing you can use it anywhere I'm t like if you go on and look at the review or, or the the thing there that they have for Ryobi, they're targeted to men. But sincerely, <laughs> this is for women. Who uses hot glue other than a mommy? You know, like, it's a DIY kind of thing, kind of tool. I am amazed that they have this hot glue thing. I don't think I've seen another hot glue heavy-duty tool device on any other brand i could be mistaken i really didn't research because i went bonkers on this one and um thanks for my husband that he bought it for me um but i don't know you can search on it comment down below if another brand does have another a hot glue gun like this but i haven't seen it my little eyes have not seen it Mom. so um we're gonna let it heat right a little bit and um we're gonna go ahead and test it right for you so see what it is right here on the manual um the manual like it has everything that you want to know how to fix it how to if anything happens but yeah um i'm not gonna use this bigger hot glues just now or maybe i should since they this one mine feels a little bit harder than this one but maybe this is because of the size but we're gonna go ahead and put one in there so you obviously just put your hard glue right in there and look I'm touching here it does feel warm but it's not freaking like burning me and this video is gonna be a little bit lengthy because I want to explain to you how it feels right here like this part of the gun feels just a little bit warm right about here feels hot like if you put your finger and leave it there for a little bit it feels hot but not burning hot you know what i mean um so let's go ahead and and try it i'm going to try to hot glue um something so you can see how it works and how much of the hot glue comes out i can show you um i don't know it has it been a minute or or more than a minute and and i'm going to press it since it's new you gotta like press it a little bit of time so it grabs onto the hot glue but let me show you oh my gosh look at that did you guys saw that i'm probably not showing you well because it's clear but can you see that of course it's going to be hard but i want to ah <laughs> i want to test it okay so let me bring something so i can show you um how it um actually glues onto something you know what i mean i'll let you view it again admire it let's take a look i'm going to be doing some diy thing or i'll show you later i don't know if it's gonna come out before this or the after i'm gonna hot glue something here and i'm going to try to do it like this so i'm going to use this hot glue gun to hot glue this thing and the thing oh oh my goodness do you see that it kind of leaked but this is I think all the hot glue guns do this because it's on. You actually could clean it up. That's why I have the purpose of this. I have this thing so I can just put it there. And because I didn't want it to burn myself and because it was leaking. I can obviously, that's an inconvenience right there. An inconvenience. See, I don't always talk about nice things. We, we're finding things together. So, it leaks. So, I'm thinking if you, like, whenever you're not using it constantly, you can pull the hot glue stick out a bit so it doesn't have the hot glue right at the tip so it keeps on licking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, we're going to go ahead and, and, like, let me put that back. Hard glue this shenanigans. I know I'm hard gluing in a a thing here to glass, but I'm going to. Oh my gosh, this thing! I 
it comes out really fast. <laughs> and I'm going to, baby, I'm going to hot glue it right there. I'm trying to um get this stuck there, but since it's um glass, you know that hot glue and glass, especially this one, doesn't go together. But the purpose and the function of the hot glue gun is totally there. You know what I mean? It's totally there. Look at that. It's already sticking. I love it so much. I love it so much. This is a, a um, candle that it has a little lid that I obviously wanted to lid to come out. So you can actually turn the damn candle on. It's a little bit hard to take out, to tell the truth. It's from the dollar store, but look at that. Look at that. The cross is right. Stick to it already. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. But there you go. That is, um, you're obviously going to turn it off. It's on if you can see the light. Off. Um, like any hot glue gun, I recommend for you to clean the tip and um, for this one it does lick a little bit so there's that you might want to like take out the hot like, pull out the hot glue stick a little bit to there the you outside go. Um, uh, another thing that I could say like I had mentioned before on this one that I would burn myself on the tip here because it was a metal tip it it is hot right here Look it, it, has, it even has a little thing here, warning, hot. It has like a rubber thing, but it still gets hot. And then right here on the top, it's like hot as well. Like, look, burning, burning. It has a little sign right there that it says that it, it burns. Can you see that little sign? It burns, 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 burns. Um, so... It is hot. The weight, it's really weighing, it, it doesn't weigh that much. So, I could give it, out of five stars, I could give this device a 3.75. Why? Here are my, my, my why's. I like it. It's cordless. It doesn't weigh a lot. It has a 3.5 hours of, of battery time so that if it's cordless, you, you want the most out of the battery lifetime. You know what I mean? So 3.5 hours, it's good enough for a project that you want to do constant, like runt. At 3.5 hours is more than enough that you need um, to do a project with hot glue. You know what I mean? So that's my three pointers. And the half is for the tip here that it has a silicone there but the silicone does get hot so that's my 3.75 point the other two like one and a half ish pointers that i don't like is it does lick but you can fix that by pulling the hot glue stick a little bit to like backwards so it doesn't have a hot glue right next to it that keeps on licking that happens that would also happen with your regular old hot glue gun as well so don't even trip about that and number two it does hit it does get super hot right here it they do tell you so that's no brainer it they it's like oh right there right there it's telling you it's hot this one obviously was hot as well. So a hot glue gun, you're not gonna, oh, it's super cold, I'm not gonna burn my, no. It's this one, this one, they both get hot. So I was thinking this one wasn't going to get hot because it has a rubber tip, but it does get hot, but it's not like you're burning yourself right away like you would burn yourself with this one. Woo, it is warm, but ah, you burn yourself here, right? You know what I mean? It is hot. It does get hot as well over here. It doesn't get hot here. Unlike this one, sometimes I would feel the hot right about here. But um, this one, I don't feel it. You know what I mean? On and off, done, it's all. Um, the battery, of course, another bad thing is if you don't have a tool, you obviously not going to have the battery. And the battery, it is a bit pricey. If, uh, a lot, like, you're already spending $30 here, you might 
gonna spend another $30 on the battery and the charger but if you already have a tool I will recommend for you to buy this Ryobi uh, hot glue gun the 18 volt hot glue gun because you can interchange your battery with all the other tools like the blower or saw saw or drill or anything else that you have of Ryobi that is 18 volt it will do with this little baby over here the Ryobi uh, one 18 volt hot glue gun but other than that, that is my review and unboxing of the Ryobi hot glue gun. How many times have I said that? Hopefully you like this review. I know all my mamas that don't know that Ryobi has one uh, will be excited to see. Comment down below if you know another brand of tools that they have a hot glue gun. I would be, I might, I might uh, try to get my husband to buy it for me. So I can test it out. Uh, this one it is uh, $30 and I think I believe I, he bought it at Home Depot and um, You obviously if you don't like it, you can obviously return it just don't mess up with the package so much But other than that that is all for today's video. Hopefully you guys like it comment down below Anything that you would like uh, me to test it with or if you thought I missed on testing something the flow of the hot glue gun runs out easily it does lick um, I don't think you'll be able to use it with um, um, a smaller hot glue gun but I can test it another DIY so you make sure to come back and like subscribe to my channel and see my other videos that I'm going to be using I'll try to buy a smaller hot glue stick see if that one if that one goes easily as well of course it's big but we'll see if it try if, it, if you know what I mean if it actually works well as well um, but other than that um, that is all that I have for you guys today subscribe uh, hit the bell to notify you when I have a new video. I might use this again and I definitely will use this again on another video. And other than that, I will, guys, I will see you next time. Goodbye.